ISRO, Indian Space Research Organization. It's a dream job for lakhs of engineers and the selection ratio is approximately 0.1%. But the person joining me today has resigned from ISRO. Let's get to know what is the reason behind his resignation and what is he doing currently. But before sharing that, I have a quick announcement for you. If you are stuck up in your revision for GATE 2023, Yes Academy is launching a revision course. The cost of this course is 2000, but the first 1000 registrations would get this for 100 rupees. Yes, you heard it right, 100 rupees. You have to use the code GATE 23. So they have given the schedule also. Every day they will be revising single subject. I will add more details in the description. You can go and check it out. Without any delay, let's get started. Hi Kishale, how are you? Yeah, I'm fine. How are you, Ajay? Yeah, I'm also doing great. Uh, so, thanks for joining me today. Thank you too also for having me in this conversation. Yeah. So, for the audience who don't know you, can you briefly give an introduction about yourself? Yeah, okay. So, hello everyone. I'm Kishalai Das. Uh, I'm currently a PhD student at uh, IIT Kharagpur in Computer Science Department. Uh, long back in 2012, I have done my B.Tech from Magna Science of Technology in Kolkata. Then I worked for some time in IT companies like TCS and Accenture. Uh, then I got bored and I started preparing for GATE and ISRO. In 2017, I cracked both the exam. Uh, I cracked GATE with All India Rank 37 in uh, Computer Science and I cracked ISRO where my All India Rank was 38. I joined ISRO, worked there for uh, some one and a half year. Then I resigned from there and I joined ISC Bangalore for my Masters. I completed an MTech from CSE department in ISC Bangalore in 2020. And since then, I am doing my PhD at IIT Kharagpur. So would you like to share why you have left ISRO? Only if you are comfortable. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I have given this answer to many people, so it's not an issue. Uh, so first I will tell you that why did I join ISRO? Uh, so as I was saying that, you know, I was working in IT companies and I got kind of frustrated with the regular routine work that I was doing there. So I thought that research or R&D sector will be more suitable for me. And that's why preparing for GATE and parallelly ISRO. And when I cracked um, both the exams in 2017, so I decided to go for ISRO uh, because I thought that, you know, it's a research organization, so I'll be getting a lot of research opportunity there uh, in computer science uh, that will help our country to do development in um, uh, space science. But the problem happened was that when I joined uh, there, I didn't find the work, uh, you know, that much research oriented. I mean, it's kind of an extension of the work I was doing in TCS and Accenture. Uh, in TCS and Accenture, I was doing some kind of developing softwares uh, where I, I was dealing with the data of different clients. And here I was doing similar kind of development with the space data. So that's why, you know, the kind of work that I was expecting before joining ISRO uh, was not there, unfortunately. The main issue was that ISRO is not a computer science organization. It's an aerospace organization. Yes. Unlike Google, Microsoft, these are computer science organizations. So that's why in ISRO, I have found there are a lot of research opportunity for aerospace, uh, electronics, mechanical, but there is very little uh, research opportunity for computers. So that's why I thought, let's leave it and move forward for, you know, doing masters and then coming to PhD. Okay, so that's nice. So have you got any uh, campus placement in IISC or uh, you have this PhD mind from the beginning itself? Yeah, so uh, that's a good question. I mean, when I was leaving ISRO, uh, when I was joining IISC, so I have two things in my mind that uh, if research suits me, because that time I didn't have any idea about research. I mean, people got a lot of fascination about research, but the exact process of research, nobody knows until unless you join MTech or PhD. So in my mind, it was like if I if I you know found research suitable for me, then I'll go for PhD. Otherwise, I'll, I'll go to any startup or uh, R&D sector. So uh, in my final year, I, I was doing a MTech project where I was doing research. But in placement, I took a job in hand so that you know that will be a backup for me. If I don't get any good uh, PhD opportunity in some places, then might be I'll be going for it. But yeah, I mean my priority was that I'll be going for research and PhD because I was getting that flavor in my MTech project itself. What, what happened was that, you know, I, I joined IIT Kharagpur as a research associate and then I, you know, finally got a PhD position here and the PMRF also and that's why I decided to continue uh, here. So I'm curious to know about your PMRF journey also, like what is the application process and what are the factors uh, they consider while selecting for this uh, PMRF fellowship? Yeah, so PMRF is a Prime Minister Research Fellowship that is given to the uh, PhD student in India, uh, where you will get around 70,000 rupees per month as a stipend and there are some other benefits like you will be getting 2 lakh rupees per year uh, for contingency which you can use for your travel or uh, any, any, any other gadgets you want to buy. 
so the selection procedures nowadays it's a bit, a bit relaxed i will say rather what used to happen before so before there used to be an interview process and all but nowadays it's completely based on recommendation so first you have to uh, first you have to check the you know whether you are uh, you are you are uh, satisfying all the criteria or not for getting selected for pmra then you will submit all of your documents like all academic reports transcript and and mark sheets to your uh, department now your department will recommend you to the central uh, committee that is typically held held at iit delhi and three other things you have to submit first of all statement of purpose or sop letter next is a research proposal and finally couple of recommendation letter from your uh, phd guide or try to have a good cgpa around 8.5 uh, would be a good enough so kishalai has been uh, very consistent throughout his academics so kishalai what keeps you uh, consistent and motivated in your academics uh this is a very difficult question to answer uh, so i would say that you know i love to do this uh, research as of now i what i have understood that this whole process of doing research i really love to do that's why you know whenever i feel frustrated also maybe in the next day i move on and start working hard again and what one thing i have understood like if i take your example like you are con continuously making videos uh, you know if i ask you that what motivates you to make the videos because you love to do this and in return also you are getting these views and you know subscribers and also that actually you know even motivates you so the same thing applies for me i love to do research and research is giving me this papers pmr fellowship and all that actually kind of you know motivates you more to do that so i think it's it's both way that you you have to do something that you love to do first and then only you can do it in a better way than the others and then the returns will come and you will again get motivated to do it so i think that is the secret of uh, kishal you know like uh, people often gets disappointed after failing in one or two competitive exams like gate or isro right, right. people often gets disappointed after their failure so did you ever face any failure in your uh, competitive exams how did you tackle those failures if at all you have faced any failure? Yeah I mean I have failed many times I mean when I was preparing for gate uh, I have failed three times and fourth time uh, in the fourth attempt I have cracked gate I mean for the first two attempts I was actually in TCS and then preparing and then I left it tried one then also I couldn't make it to top IITs and the fourth attempt I able to do this I mean uh, the motivation was like uh, first of all you have to analyze whether uh, you can try one more time any any kind of failure there are two things i mean you can try one more or you have to give it up and move on so you have to first analyze whether you are in a position that you can try one more time uh, so in 2016 when i failed in gate i i i think about it and i tried one more time in 2017 because i thought okay it will be a one year drop but i can deal with it uh so that is one thing that you have to decide and if it is too late i mean you have tried uh, too long and if you are not able to succeed in this thing then you have to move on and try other things it's a perfect answer it's equally important to decide when you have to move on and or when you have to again give that exam so kishala is also having a youtube channel so when did you think of starting this youtube channel by the way uh this happened in my first year of phd uh you know phd basically is a very boring journey where you have to do a lot of experiments and results won't be coming maybe you have to try and try different other ways so in my first year of phd i things was not going that well i mean i i have submitted the paper in some conference got rejected then i submitted into a journal it was it got it, it is getting delayed to get the response so i was a bit frustrated and i was thinking i should do something else than this to be fresh while i will i'll be doing the research then i thought of doing this uh, youtube channel because long back in 2017 when i cracked it many people told me to open a youtube channel i mean that was a mistake for me i would accept but i should have opened the youtube channel then but that time actually i was a part of isro so i couldn't uh, make that youtube channel and then i was in isc you hardly get a time in isc to do anything else that's how the journey started excellent 2017 would have been a perfect time to start a youtube channel but it's okay better late than never thanks for joining thank you ajay thank you for inviting me in this talk also and guys if you are a computer science uh, student preparing for gate or these competitive exams make sure to subscribe his channel before ending this video if you have not joined our telegram channel where i share all the exam related updates and job notifications consider joining that channel also and if you found this video helpful make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel even if you don't do any of these i thank you for watching this video till now Take care and I'll see you all in the next video.